Chase Lee Hockey here at the Blue Futon. And at the theaters, I saw Smile. Go! So smile, what's it about? Trauma, suicide, smiling. Who dies, who survives, and it's up to you to find out when you watch this film. So did I like this film? I liked the complete package of this movie. I thought the first, second, and third act does a fantastic job. However, I think the trailer does give a little bit too much for the actual story. So with that, I'll give the positives. But first... Let's look at a movie that just came out a couple weeks ago. It's another horror movie, Barbarian. Smile. If I didn't watch one right now, I think it would be Smile because of the third act. The problem with Barbarian, it starts super strong and to me kind of does a nosedive. This one, it's a good, you know, pace, 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 pace. And then it actually gives a good ending, in my opinion, as to what we were going for. Like I said, the pauses. I think the story is unique and you could say it's a little bit different. Yes, you can compare it to The Ring. You can compare to these other horror movies where it's like a mentally fuck, clusterfuck of your brain. You're like, oh my god, what's happening? And it does have some good jump scares. And these jump scares are effective because the person to the left of me was jumping multiple times. And there were parts in the audience where people were like, oh shit, no, 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 no. And the problem with Barbarian, you didn't really have that. But with Smile, there's especially a scene in the beginning about turning around. That's all I'm going to say. That doesn't really spoil anything, but my goodness, people in the theater, it was quiet, and people like, oh, fall, fuck, 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 and that is a really fun time when you're in the theater, so when you have those thrills and chills that the audiences are interacting with, that's a huge positive. I think the acting is also really good in this movie. Everyone plays their part extremely well. They know what movie they're in. Also, I think it's very interesting and different how the editing slash transitions are in this movie. You're either going to like it or you're not. I think I liked it overall. There are some weird upside down shots. You see a couple in the trailer that you're just like, why are you doing it? What does it do to enhance the story? I know it's for like substance or sorry, style, not substance, but there is a cool one where it's like a circle and you're going through a circle. So there are some cool transitions in this movie, but also transitions as well as camera decisions where you're like, why are you deciding to do this? Personally, when it's an upside down camera, I think it's cool, but sometimes I'm like, I get dizzy. I'm like, oh my God, what are we doing? Because your brain is not like calculating it correctly with what is going on. But, and then also the end. There is some CGI, but I think the CGI works. First, I was a little like, oh no, what are we doing? And it took me out kind of like Barbarian did, but it actually it transformed into something unique and different. I was like, oh shit, we're going there. I actually like the whole mind fuck game of this is because this is a mind fuck game of a movie. But when we talk about the negatives, I do think some characters are just there to be there and you're like, ah, oh, that's a stupid decision or come on, you are connecting the dots. You got to tell someone like a person's a cop in this movie, right? And you're connecting the dots. You got to go to another cop and be like, wait a minute. Time out. Time out. We have 20 murders, which is in the trailers, that are somehow connected. There's got to be a way to be like, wait a minute, okay, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 20. Something is fucked up, and we got to figure this out. So I think there are some character decisions that are just like, come on, what are we doing? That's a little silly and just doesn't make sense whatsoever. And also, one thing that might sound a little morbid, I want it a little bit more gore. When you see the trailer and it's like the bloody smile, I kind of want to see more. I'm a kind of a huge gore person. I think this could have gone a little bit more. I understand they want to be a little more grounded, but I think the kills, even though there's very minimal kills in this movie, I think since there were minimal kills, they should have been a little bit more extreme. I understand if you have more kills and less extreme, but with this one, you have a little less body count. So I kind of want a little bit more extreme gore and violence on that level. There is a fucked up scene with a mustache as well. But overall, smile. I enjoyed it. I thought it was better than the Barbarian. Yes, the Barbarian, the first and second act is almost like perfect. But to me, the third act of Barbarian is a downhill spiral. 
But this one, I think, is a more complete package of what the director and writer was trying to do with, you know what? He wants a third act that, like, will kind of hit you to the core. And will there be a sequel? So Smile will receive a 4 out of 5 blue futons, which equals that 80%. So let's see the critics and user scores. Gave Smile. So critics a 81% with 21 of them and zero audience score. Expect this to change drastically when this actually comes out. And I wouldn't be shocked if the critic consensus is there. But anyway, 8180 is pretty solid. She's talking with the blue futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, no, I think it's blue futon topia. You boob tones, thank you for watching. Have a great day. And don't forget to smile. Don't forget. Ah!